Agua Special Utility District meeting, uh, Board of Directors, October 10th, 2023. It is uh, 6.02 p.m. Roll call, Dr. Adriana Flores Villarreal, absent. Mr. Jose Luis Ochoa, Jr. Present. Mr. Ricardo Perez. Here. Mr. Omero Tijerina. Here. And Ms. Ana Maria Perez. Present. Number 1B, invocation is going to be given by Ms. Cindy Villarreal. Thank you, Mr. President. Heavenly Father, as we gather today to conduct matters and business for Agua Sud, may you give us your guidance, wisdom, and knowledge to make the best decisions for ratepayers and employees. Lord, let this meeting be productive and let your peace surround us today. We ask these One D public comments. Mr. Salinas, do we ever have any comments? Uh, Madam President, uh, we do not have any public comments at this time. Okay. Item number two, discussion and possible action on rejecting bids and authorizing the general manager to re-solicit competitive bids for the Palmview Yard Line Connection Project Phase 2. Uh, yes, uh, Madam uh, President, members of the board, uh, for a previous meeting, uh, we had uh, two bid responses. Uh, we, the board took no action. Uh, we met with, uh, with NADBank as well as with the engineer and we foresee that the uh, funds will not get jeopardized if the board decides to resolicit for bids for this project, reject and resolicit for bids. So we, we talked with them and we're okay to reject and resolicit for bids. Maybe we can get more uh, construction with the funding that is available. And approximately 2.6 yeah, million right available. Just above uh, 2.5. 2.5. I'll move. Second. Okay. I have a motion by Mr. Tijerina and a second by Mr. Perez. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries. Item number three, discussion and possible action on appointment of advisory committee pursuant to Texas Local Government Code 395.058 as required to review, e evaluate, and update impact fees charged by the district. Yes, uh, Madam President, uh, members of the board, uh, we there's a handout within your packet, <coughs> and it basically it reflects the the current or the actual uh, the current serving the current serving committee that was appointed at previous meeting at, at a previous meeting. Right, we had uh, Mr. John uh, A. Womack, Everardo Villarreal, Saul Maldonado, Laura Macias, and Carlos Leal. We did receive an email from Mr. Carlos Leal, Leal that he declined to be part of the committee. So we gather again, we, we talked to the uh, board of directors to submit uh, a committee member that can that lives within the district and that can be able to to participate, right, as the advisory committee for the, for the impact fee. So right now we have uh, four and within that same uh, attachment, the proposed to add that we received from board members uh, for the impact fee committee is <coughs> Mr. Fernando Reyes, Gerardo Leal, Leo Garcia, and Robert Tamez. But of course, this has to come with recommendation from the board. So this is what we receive, and this is uh, within, uh, within your packet so that the board may decide to move forward with the actual uh, proposed to add by Board of Directors, uh, this for uh, future possible committee uh, members for the impact fee. I'll make a motion to add impact fee committee members Fernando Reyes, Gerardo Leal, Leo Garcia, Robert Torres, 
Lara Macias, which live within the district, and John A. Warmack and Everardo Villarreal to make it seven. So move, second. Okay, I have a motion by Mr. Tijerina and I have a second by Mr. Perez. All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item number four, discussion and possible action on approval or variance request from stage three of the drought contingency uh, plan. Yes, uh, uh, Madam President, members of the board, uh, within the package, uh, item uh, number four, there were uh, nine uh, residents that submitted the application for a variance. I know that we discussed this mm -hmm. at the previous uh, at the previous uh, mm -hmm. meeting, and and of course uh, with the help of uh, our attorney Jern, which is uh, on, on the line, Mr. Jern Hudgens uh, created a, an application for the variance, and basically it is what the title is, right? It's a variance for the application during stage three that we may allow, uh, depending on certain circumstances, uh, to give new water meters for uh, residents, future residents, uh, depending on the, on the, on the cost and why, why the variance is requested and why it needs to be granted. So attached uh, within the, the package, we have the nine applicants for this variance requesting for a new meter. Yes, he's he's on. Do you want to take this into executive? We can move it to move it. So yeah, somebody makes a motion to take yeah. it to executive. Yeah, I think there are a couple of issues we need to discuss. Okay. On on the form. I move that we move item four into executive session. Second. Okay, I have a motion to move item number four into executive, and I have a second. I have a motion by Ms. Perez, and I have a second by Mr. Tijerina. All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> item number five, executive session, as provided by the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Government Code, sections 551. 071-551.091, the Board of Directors may convene in a closed <coughs> executive session to deliberate, discuss, or consult regarding any of the items set forth above on proper motion and approved under the Texas Open Meetings Act. Texas Government Code Section 551.071, consultation with attorney. A, cost number C-3353-B20-I, SMB infrastructure versus Agua Special Utility, Utility District in the District Court of Hidalgo County, Texas, 398th Judicial District. Uh, I'm going to need a motion to go into executive. So move. Second. I have a motion by Ms. Perez and a second by Mr. Perez. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion carries.